Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we have jump systems. We are now at Delios. It was only a 13 day jump. Uh, it is a five skull world. So the missions here are now, if we have a look here at the command center, are between three and a half and five skull. So we've got a bunch of lower ones here, three and a half. There's one here I want to take today, flushing them out, uh, which is against Clan Jade Falcon. So it's a three and a, a two and a, yeah, sorry, three and a half. Um, and it's basically a straight-up battle against an elite Jade Fal Falcon Lance. So we'll have to see, it's probably most likely two Lances, maybe three, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. So it should be a good fight. But if we go back here, let's go to the mech bays real quick. I did make a few minor adjustments. Not a lot of adjustments, but a few tweaks here and there to the mechs. Didn't want to change too much. Everything seemed to be working fairly well. Um, so the Hades, we changed out. Remember I uh, mentioned in the last episode that I should probably pull out the uh, the arrow system from this guy, so I did. I, I switched it to with a tag barrage, and I put the arrow system in the ar archer here, uh, just because it seems like it's better to have in our artillery mech the arrow system, because it's indirect fire, basically, um, as opposed to direct fire. So um, that's why we switched that out. This way it'll give the... Uh, um, the Hades a chance to overheat and take on buildings and stuff while the archers shooting at turrets and whatever So we did that now. I didn't change too much else um, Trying to think here. Oh, yeah, the Thunderbolt was really the major refit So with the Thunderbolt, we're gonna go in this really quick We didn't have a barrage on this guy at all So I included a tag barrage and I pulled out the two LRM 15s in the torso um, I don't know, they weren't, I mean, we were running out of ammo with them at the end. So I figured we, if we're going to go laser build, we might as well go all laser build. You'll notice here our heat sinking is actually really, really good. Um, I haven't finished tweaking this guy out yet, but right now this is kind of where it's going to sit until I can get a chance to really sit down and think about how I want to do this. Um, but we're still running the prototype double heat sink kit. Uh, we've got the uh, inner sphere exchanger in here for minus nine heat. I took out the uh, the heat bank because we, we didn't really need it. Um, and I, I took out the two LRM-15s and put an ER large and ER medium in. So now we're going to have a lot of long range sustainability with this guy. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to um, hit a lot more. Um, I know we won't have the indirect fire capability, but this guy's really a long range direct fire support like the Hades. So that's kind of the reason why I went this route. Now, the chances to hit with these two lasers are going to be lower, obviously, than the arm and the pulse laser. But we'll see how it goes. I don't, I'm not really convinced this is the right way to go. but we're going to try this. Since we're loaded down with uh, heat sinking gear, I figure we just kind of go laser build on this. Now, the other way to do this too is if, um, like I said, I'm not done yet, but we do have the uh, heavy PPC risk here. It's 10 tons, um, which means we'll be pulling out the large and the, and the uh, sorry, the, the large pulse and the ER large just to get it to fit in. Uh, it'll most likely go in the arm. Um, and then if we play around with the prototype double heat sinks and everything, because we'll be losing heat this way, uh, like the overheat so we'll be able to pull out a pr couple of prototype double heat sinks drop some other stuff in like maybe change one of the ER larges to a large pulse or something I don't know but this that's it's gonna take time to really think this build through um, but right now I think it's actually pretty good we don't have to worry about overheating um, we got the tag barrage on here and that's about it the enhanced imaging stayed on this mech um, we're not really utilizing it the best we can but I'll see if we can change that coming up and that's about it, I think. There's a couple of other minor tweaks that I did, but not much. Um, let me think now. Um, is the Grand Summoner Prime? Um, oh, sorry, yeah, on the uh, Thunderbolt 2. Uh, we've also, we've also got the AMS Mark II in the arm with a ton of ammo. Um, it's not a lot of rounds, but... Uh, hopefully this guy can pr provide some AMS to uh, the long-range fire support team. Uh, that's kind of the goal of this too. Uh, Bushwhacker stayed the same. Yeah, pretty much everything else stayed the same. I played around a little bit with the Grand Summoner Prime, or sorry, the B, but I didn't really get a chance to, like I, I want to try to uh, make the Ultra 20 a little better than what it is, but it is kind of what it is and there's not much we can really do with it. Um, I can't, I mean, we put, I put the Nova CEWS on this guy uh, because I don't want the Ultra 20 going down. And this guy's going to be in close most of the time. So I figured that's probably a good way to go. Uh, keep this guy a little bit more protected. Um, but that's it. You know, nothing much, nothing much else changed. So let's have a look here. And let's go straight into a, to a mission. 
which I said we were going to take the Flushing the Melt mission. It's against Clan Jade Falcon, so let's just go ahead and do this. Interested to see what we can get out of this. Alright. So we're going to go Standard Lance. Hopefully we don't get a Support Lance with us. And the reason why I say that is because I want to see how well we do here against a... Uh, I mean, I know we're five skulls, but I want to see how we, well we do against this difficulty. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's been a while since we've been on this map. Looks like it's just us. Beautiful. I got a feeling it's more than one, one lance here. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Um... Let's set up our positioning here. Yes, Commander. Okay. Fire support. What's the plan? Full sprint up over here. Of course. You need to get in closer, obviously. Gonna move up into here. Just gonna brace. Looks like these guys got some good stealth. That's full sprint, really? Well, doesn't got a lot of movement, but it's got a lot of firepower. Right here. All right, ATM six build. Let's get you up this side too. All right, let's get up here. All right, we finally got eyes on. What do we got here? Really? Okay, we're going to stay in the trees. Oh, all right. Jadehawk. ATM sixes, that's a lot of armor. Oro heavy tank. What do we got up here? A 60 ton carrier. Pair of LRM 20s, pair of ATM 12s. Alright, let's see what our chances to hit are. So you got an ERPPC. It's really you that we got to target. Um, let's go with with everything, including the barrage. All weapons committed. Let's get some heat on them. Let's start this party off right. All right. Looks like he's going next. And we got Dallas and Duck. It's not moving, eh? Alright, let's look for the quick kill. Uh, I'm gonna warlord this. I know he's braced, but see what we can do. Firing at everything. So one of the things we did add to the Zeus is I dropped in a, I bought an, a, a, uh, an assault, um, oh, he didn't move last time, which means they've got another guy somewhere off the board. I bought an assault uh, jump jet. Oh no, wait a minute, that guy went on 21. Oh, never mind. Uh, I bought an assault uh, jump jet so that we've got one jump on the, uh, let's get into here. I got one jump on the... Um, Zeus, just in case. 43, huh? Uh, let's... Ooh, okay. Oh, I can't hit that leg, but we can go after this leg. Let's do it. Okay, we got a tag on. He's panicking.
All right, what has he got left in his legs here? I can't tell. I can tell if I do that, though. Wait, what's the chance to hit? Oh, pretty low. We're going to take it, though. We're going to go after that leg. We didn't get his leg, though, eh? Well, that's for next turn, I guess. I'm telling it. Yes, I am. This guy's just got an ERPPC, huh? Wait, what did the Oro have, did we say? That guy's done next turn, pretty much. Ooh, this guy's taking a heavy turret hit. So let's multi-target this, then. So we're going to rack this guy. And we'll barrage this guy. That should probably do it. Firing. Talking about the barrage. Oh, the streak hit. Beautiful. That guy's done. Oh, looks like we claimed a leg on that guy. And that guy blew up. <laughs> Can you just blow on this guy's leg, please? What's he got left? Not a lot. Uh, paramedium lasers, probably, on the leg? Hey, escape. There we go. Yeah, we'll see if we can get that leg. There we go. That would be a kiss. Beautiful. Good to go. Uh, I know this guy's got AMS, but I'm gonna fire on him anyway. Um, I'm really hoping that they've got more guys than just, just this. Oh wait, they got two guys left. Somebody's hidden. Oh man, really? We had a mask. I'm receiving you. What about you? You don't got the range either, eh? All right, well, let's just reserve. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, there's a mad dog coming in. Seems pretty mad. Ah, uh, rack is down, huh? Confirmed. Um, yeah, we pulled out in order to get the uh, the jump jet in there. We had to pull out the uh, thunder ammo. Here you go. Oh, I got two hits. Uh, I'm not saying I'm proud of two hits, but uh, we'll take it. We'll take two. Oh, really, eh? Love to have a mad dog, but uh, let's just shoot him. Let's just shoot him. Okay, one of the big boys hit. That's nice. Can you, how far can you go? Not far enough. Let's just get over here. Yeah, we can do more with HE, so let's just do it. Let's just do it! Okay. Reporting. Uh, 
All right, we got a direct line of sight. Let's take it. Doesn't look like we got much left here, so I'm gonna go all out on this guy. Might as well warlord it. Don't think they're gonna have reinforcements, so. Of course, I could be wrong. All right, at least he gets the heat from the barrage. Beautiful. Just getting the trees. Alright, let's move into here. How are we doing on this guy here? Ah, oh, not too bad, I guess. Let's Warlord it. He's got some serious CT damage. Maybe we can finish him up. Looked like that may have been another CT hit. It's not panicking, though. Uh, not bad. Four hits. Let's just show them what an LRM attack looks like. Ooh, 13%, huh? I think he's out of ammo with it for his AMS. Either that or it jammed. That guy's out of AT range, right? Yeah. Sorry, AC-20 range. Is that it? We get him or we just knock him over? No, we killed him. We killed him. Ah, neither of us were in range, eh? Let's just reserve. You should be able to get a shot at this guy. No? Oh, I see what he's done. Yeah, smart thinking. Ah. Yeah. That's uh he's going to absorb all of the uh, missiles. We're just going to brace in these woods. We can't really get them, so... Let's just brace. Ready for orders. Let's rain some shiz on this guy. Firing on target. Okay. Getting the IS now. Amanda. Okay, fire maneuver, buddy. Actually, how far? Well, that's not bad. How far can you maneuver? Can you get a show? Oh, can't quite get it. Oh, we can. Aye, aye. Let's punish him. Artemis is destroyed. All right, so let's ra just rain some shiz on this guy. Couple points. Scored a critical hit. Mm. Way to go. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Might get lucky and hit the turret. I don't believe you're gonna like this. Okay, got one hit. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did ya? All right, we got a green, uh, green line. Let's go take it. I know we're too close to hit effectively, but that's fine. Targeting it's bizarre to say that we're too close to hit effectively. Yeah, 
now. Let's just get you over here. Aye, aye. He's going down anyway. Well, all those times that we uh, removed an LRM, we could have used it in this one. There we go. That's what you call missile vomit. Alright. Okay, 190,000. That should pay for our repairs. Yeah, it's kind of strange now because I don't know what to do. Um, we could take a mad dog. We could ditch, we take the mad dog, we ditch the centurion. I said I wasn't going to do that though. Um, ooh, large clan pulse, laser AMS. Those are extreme range. I know this all adds to tonnage, but if you got a battle computer, man, like you could... The chance to hit on some of these things is crazy. Um, ooh, a 375 engine. Oh, it's still 2.5 million though. Klein XLs, four and a half. Enhanced imaging. We're barely getting advantage of the ones we already have. Um, stability gyro. Got a lot of good stuff here. HE ammo, which is another thing that we need. Don't need it that badly though. Let's go ahead and take... Um, I'm taking both of these. I want to guarantee our financial report for this month, so I'm going to take these. So if we need to sell them, we can sell them. And let's just see what else we got here. Okay, two Jayhawk parts. Nice. Pack Hunter. Uh, clan Armor. Regular Armor. 210, which we can sell. Regular heat sinks. Wow. Clan Double Heat Sink Kit. Lower Arms. So this is good. We need these. Some more Artemis ammo. Okay. Uh, LRM Extended Range. Okay, uh, that's not bad, I guess. Okay. Yeah, 67,000. Not bad. Let's take another quick mission here. It's hard when you're taking a mission against a clan like that. It's it's hard because I'm trying to gauge what the best missions are to take that are going to give us a good fight. But it's difficult knowing what like what missions to take because it's sometimes three and a half skull mission. You can end up with three lances against you and you're screwed, right? And then other times we get that and it's like, eh, whatever, you know. Uh, what's this? Destroy base. Local government, three and a half. It's not worth it, three and a half against the local government. This one is what? Defend a base? Four and a half. That's going to take a while to defend. This is the escort mission. Pride and Vanity is a battle against the local pirates. Destroy the pirate f threat at four skulls. All right. This is a steal the prototype, right? Capture base. And this is against pirates. This one is against local government. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Um, let's take the pirates on at four skulls, I guess. Tamper proof. What else do we have down here? Beautiful day is assassinate. Yeah, warning, dangerous. Yeah, no, I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs> A favor to regret. Let's see what this one is. Local government lads making plan of fall behest of a group of petty nobles. All right, this could be a possible... What's five skull? I, I Maybe I'm crazy, but... We might as well take it. We might as well do it. I think we got the juice for this. 
It's the local planetary government. How bad could it really be? Oh, we know this map. Okay. Uh, does that mean it has four lances? Sure does. <laughs> Seven against sixteen, eh? <sighs> Head up. Stick on the ice. Don't get beat. It's a good thing I, I used... I put Phantom Mech on two of my pilots here. We're going to be using that, I think. I mean, we're going to have the heat to our advantage here, too, I think. I hope. How might I help? Man, this is going to be a tough one. Good to go. In theory, they might have reinforcements, too. I should probably click withdraw at the moment <laughs> right now, just in case. Uh, let's just hope they got some shit guys. Grouping up like this is probably not a good idea, but we need to get to the side here. We gotta use this ridge as cover. Are you stuck? You're stuck. Fuck a duck. Okay, here a vehicle moving. We are going to get the most out of our barrages and this one. We've got three barrages and one arrow. Alright. Let's get into position here before we move forward. This hill is really the, the telling por portion. Oh, we got we got sign here. That looked like a locust. Black cat. Frig. I'm receiving you. Oh, I see. The red circle is the AMS circle. Oh, that's very nice. It should fire within that circle. Hopefully if they got Thunderbolt guys, then that'll take care of them. We've got a 60 ton carrier, 60 ton carrier, a Mackie. This guy's going to go down hard. Uh, it's just a general Mackie. This guy is what? Seth Stealth Bomber. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hearing another vehicle. Reporting. Get within the red circle. All right, well, that doesn't look good. I'm under heavy fire here. You're not in the red circle, that's why. Fuck me, we're in trouble. Flight damage. Hold in firm. Damage is light. <sighs> Alright, we gotta get into direct fire with these guys. We can't be messing around now. There is no stealthing. Yeah, we're going to have to call for withdrawal at this moment. 
We got three turns. We'll see what happens in the oh, four rounds. Well, Commander. we'll have to see what happens in the next four rounds. Let's get in the trees. These are the guys we need to get rid of. Somebody's got a friggin' AMS. It's a stealth chopper. It's this guy back here, King Crab. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's the heavy launcher here. We are going to be out of AMS ammo very shortly. I bet you we're standing in freaking minefields too. Oh, demolisher. Jesus Christ, this is a bad idea. We cannot get ourselves into a missile battle here. It's just going to get us killed. Uh, I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. Let's not waste the barrage. We're going to need that for sure. Firing three rounds. We can get close enough to get a barrage on some of these guys. Standing by. Affirmative. We gotta get close. Is that a stalker? What's this guy? Stalker, okay. They got so many carriers, man. What the hell? They must be using incendiary missiles, maybe? Okay, I don't know. At least they're not moving. Jesus Christ, really? Oh god. This is going to take a long time. Head down. This could be it, boys. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> we may be we may be bomb being bombed back into the stone age. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny. It's just not funny. Those are the missile carriers. If any time we needed a support lance, it's now. Just somebody to draw the damn fire. Alright, we want to get on this Mackie. I think I, I don't think we have a choice. I think we need to start fighting. Hopefully get them to split their fire. I'm going to use everything on them. We can do it in the trees. It's really the carrier I want to kill, though. I 
Heat alert, huh? I copy. God damn it. Couldn't get one of those, huh? Yeah, I saw that. Couldn't even just get one of those landed, huh? Hellion I'm worried about. Uh, who's going next here, Goofy? Got a lock on me. Yeah. Man, this is going to be a tough fight. If we can pull a couple of these carriers down... Got a sensor lock on me. I mean, I'm sure I can handle the mechs. It's these stupid carriers that are killing me here. I'm starting to cook. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah. That's not even going to do it, huh? Let's leave this off. Let's go this route. God, they're shooting at... It's like the freaking helicopter's got an AMS that can shoot them from over there? Of course we do. Because <laughs> why wouldn't we? Uh, retreat. I don't know how we're going to survive this, guys. My friggin' uh, AMS ammo is gone. They're going to be knocking my asses over. Like, the difference between this mission, Quasimodo, the difference between this mission and the last one that we took is, like, ridiculously huge. So, like, so ridiculously huge. I think we just need to run away and get in trees. It's the only thing I can think of. I don't know what else to do. Back up, brace, get in trees, and then just hope we don't get our ass knocked over. Like even if even every if every one every single one of my mechs had an AMS, it wouldn't make a difference. It just wouldn't. What shoot down two or three missiles each round? Like there's so many missiles, it doesn't matter. Wonder if he's carrying an arrow. Pray that it's just like an arrow or something. No matter where I go, there's gonna be flames on the way. I think my AMS is completely out of ammo, but if it's not, I'm going to move back here. I'm there. I'm going to brace. I think it's completely out of ammo already. We ran out of ammo in the first turn. I had 200 rounds in that thing. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so that's the AMS Mark II. So now we know it does cover a certain arc. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. Fuck. Barely hit, Commander. 
Yeah, have a seat. God damn it. There's where it begins, guys. Wow, it took forever for that guy to fire. There's a hole in my armor. It's a hole in everybody's armor, buddy. We have to stay behind the hills. If I move in closer, they're going to have a better chance to hit me. But at least I'll be in trees up here. I mean... Where's that weakened carrier? This guy here. Wow. All right. Got to do something. As long as you don't target the guy on the ground, I'm happy. I mean, the one benefit that the Zeus has got going that is that it's got ballistic protection plus minus 10% damage. I'm listening. Okay, you need to do this. Now, do you have direct line of sight on anybody? You do. Wow. Doesn't matter what you do, huh? Let's try and split up a bit anyway. I'm heating up good. Yeah, I know. We're all heating up good. Oh, man. Mastodon's the last one to go. Hopefully that Lerm Strike can take out that one uh, carrier, but I highly doubt it. The chance to hit is pretty damn low. I'm shocked at how well these guys can hit me and how bad I can hit them. Okay. That was a hard hit. I mean, it's probably that ground attack aircraft. going to be a move and brace kind of game. Trees brace, trees brace, trees brace. Well, I got a Grand Summoner, what do you know? Hope we don't lose that Ultra 20. Don't panic, dude. Panic is how you die. Alright, are you able to shoot? That's the question. It's this guy here, right? No. Well, we're a little bit overheat, but 5.8%. How is it that they can get a better shot at me than I can at them? I don't know. I feel like I'm not doing anything here. Looks like I'm not doing anything too, right? Alright, let's just move over here. Yeah, we're all getting cooked. My heat sinks can't take much more of this. I can't take much more of your chatter. We got three rounds to survive. Don't die.
can't see that chopper, huh? That's a load of bullshit. Oh, I gotta be out and open for the chopper, huh? Let's see if I can get them to shoot at me. Pretty crappy chances to hit. How much armor does this guy have? Fair bit, huh? Much better on the Mackie. Let's just take it. All red here. What was that guy? The black cat? Pirate black cat? I think we got our tag barrage left on the uh, bushwhacker here, which we may be able to use against that. Oh, the chopper, we can't use it against. Although if I target the ground, I can. Damn it. What do you think, Goofy? Yes, Commander. Let's do it. Did we get him? Oh, I think I think we got him. Okay, walk back to here. I understand. Now that might help with their uh, with their ATM situation back here, or their ECM, sorry. Mackie's took a lot of stability damage. I don't. That guy's a waste of targeting, but oh man, the guy I'm worried about is uh, Gundal here, or oh, sorry, Duck. As long as you don't get knocked down, it's okay, right? You can always move and brace, get in trees, do something to deflect damage. If you're overheating, you can still do the same thing, but as soon as you're on the ground, it's a free-for-all. I'd love to be able to brace with these guys, but I needed to use that barrage. Now, if we could just get the same thing going where those carriers are up in the center there. I think we're going to have to bail anyway, but... At least I feel good about taking out that chopper. So that was a support demolisher? Is that what it said? Fire support demolisher. It's like a missile launcher, or what is it? I don't know what a fire support demolisher would be. Direct fire, probably, but it can't be that bad because it didn't use any AC-20s or something. Well, I guess it's out of range for the AC-20 from there. And as long as I'm behind stuff, they don't have a direct line of sight. Shit. As long as you survive, I can. Aff I mean, I don't. I, I necessarily can afford to lose the Ultra Twenty. Internal structure damage. But if we keep the Mac, then it, you know, should be okay. Gundal. Oh, did I just double click? I double clicked because it was lagging. 
Are you kidding me? Well, at least the mech didn't get dis destroyed. Crapola! Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hope we get the Grand Summoner back. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Well, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Yeah, you need you need a GTFO, man. Yeah, her AMS is like out of ammo probably. Can I I'm gonna do this. Because we'll find out in a second here if the AMS is actually out of ammo. Because I'll I'll have these two covered, and if they're firing at this guy. Using an awful lot of incendiary ammo. Probably better than using minefields. If there was minefields, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Four turns of trying to get away from mines? Are you kidding me? Uh. That's going to put me over, eh? Actually, let's go with 220s. Looks like one of them penned. Critical hit, Commander. And yeah, it looks like we do have a better chance to hit now that uh, that the ground attack vehicle's gone. Shit, man. Yeah, you think? Thanks for showing up, buddy. Okay, one more round, guys. Kind of arrow four assault V. Look at the armor on that thing. Just shoot the Mackie. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Come on, blow up. Yeah, I couldn't get that. Couldn't be that easy. See if I can go that arrow four vehicle that's shooting at the Hades. Where's the Mackie? He vanished off sensors? It's not destroyed. Man, if we could drop our heat and we could dial that rack up on some of these vehicles. Like this guy right here. Wait, what is this guy? Grand Summoner. You got stability issues. Just back up, buddy. Moving out. Shit, I got the wrong side turned of the enemy. That's where all my launchers are. Well, good thing I didn't sell that Centurion. Who is that guy? That one was a bad one right there. Oh, the king crab. Oh, that's interesting. 
It's a PPC king crab. Which is bad for us. I mean, if we were planning on staying around, it's probably good for us because I wouldn't want to face a couple of AC-20s up close. But right now, it's like bad for us. Well, at least that means the, the uh, Zeus gets a chance to see some people. I don't know if you'll be able to fire, but... Okay, the AMS still has ammo left. I'm under heavy fire. Two hit, huh? Neither can I, buddy. Yep, good. We suckered him into shooting at us. Okay, Gundel. Uh, let's not double click this time. Ready for order. You can't shoot. You just have to move. I'm there. I know you're overheating, but. My heat sticks can't bend faster, so I'm I know. Yeah, you think? I know. Dude. Same team. Don't lose that arm. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Yeah, don't lose the arm, man. I mean, I guess we could go MML 10. Fine. Nobody's heat can <laughs> nobody's heat sinks here can vent fast enough. I don't know what you're complaining about, buddy. Everybody's dropped a load in their pants already. Ow. Someone's got swarms. Yeah. You want to play that game, buddy? If it was mono a mono, that Grand Summoner would die horribly. But that ain't happening. I don't know if it means that we're leaving at the end of this round with one round left, or end of next round. Don't lose the arm! Fuck. I'm here. <sighs> Which carrier is this? It's a full carrier. Well, we do have Tag Barrage, though. Copy that. Let's hope it hits. God damn it. Let's hope for the best. Affirmative. Target destroyed. We got one of them? We didn't get the other one, did we? No. Oh, we got... We must have got a couple of them in there. Wait, are they... Let's just move back to here. 
Get out of direct fire range. If we just brace here, we still take the heat, right? Oh, no, we don't. Uh, if you don't withdraw in this round, she will retreat and she'll be unable uh, for another four rounds. Okay. We can withdraw this round. Beautiful. But when is the question? We got four of them, they got two of us. Don't know what to do here. I, I, I can't withstand this, there's no way. Not with only five of us left. They got what, 16 versus five, three to one odds? Roughly still what it was at the beginning, I guess. <laughs> Can't target his head. Let's see if we can torso him. I don't think we can, but you never know. Not when we're spreading our damage out like that. I don't know, guys. Location confirmed. Let's get some payback before we go. Nope, vehicle's the way to go. Uh -huh. Now you can't do anything. Oh, you can Warlord. That helps a little bit, but then I just think we, we brace. I don't think we move at all. Watch my heat. Yeah, I know, we're trying. We're trying. Dallas and Mastodon on 17. What, Ultra 2? Probably, Ultra 2? Or a pair of 2s. Okay, I think we dropped some missiles. Well, I don't know. I think maybe we just withdraw. We'll see how it is. I don't think we can claim any more vehicles at this point. Ah, uh, seven rounds. Hang in there, kid. We're almost done. So we killed five of them. Yeah, 
Man, their vehicles move fast. Uh, well, that was a good indicator. We're definitely not ready for, for uh, Five Skull. But we had to try it out. I mean, with that last mission of being three and a half and this being local government, there was a chance that, you know, there was a chance that it could have been an okay mission. Now, that Mackie must have died because I don't see it anywhere. Any chance to take anything out here? I don't think so. Self-propelled carrier. Twenty percent, huh? Yeah, no. At least we're not paying for ammo. All right, we we uh, bail. Thing is, is if these guys were partial armor. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad to stay, but these carriers, that's 304 armor, but this guy's got a thousand. Yeah, we're going to withdraw. 346, yeah, we're, we'll take it. Let's hope we didn't lose any max guys. Yeah, wow, we lost like a million sea bills. Close to a million in total. Okay, well, we got two wounded pilots, and I do not know if we got these mechs back. I think we did, but we'll find out. God, we lost the Nova CWS. Look at this. Freely. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is going to be painful. We lost about one and a half million. Oh my god. Let's see what our tasks are like. Okay, so the archer and the grand summoner can go there. Uh, Hades, let's bring the Hades up. I want to get some mechs up here so that we can at least be active very shortly. So let's get a six-dayer, Thunderbolt, Grand Summoner. So this is nine, ten days, and we got these guys back. And we got the second Lance out, basically. Okay, ten days. Not so bad, I guess. Financial report in 24. We're down to 151,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I will <laughs> advance the timeline nine days, and uh, between episodes, I'll see what we can do to open some mechs. Now, maybe it's a good thing, because if you look at the command center, we got a bunch of three, like, three and a half skulls here that we could take with just four or so guys, I think, that destroy base and stuff would be no problem. You know, if we get four mechs running, uh, we can definitely do some of these, I think, without a problem. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do a couple of those next episode. Uh, but right now we're going to lick our wounds, get this stuff repaired, figure out what we're going to do with the... Uh, well, the Bushwhacker I think is okay. It's really the Grand Summoner. Uh, we lost a bunch of stuff in that, so we'll figure it out. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.